Hey guys, Supercharged 425 coming at you. <sighs> Just took a new Facebook picture. That's pretty cool, I guess. Tripod doesn't quite fit as well as my, um, as well for my point and shoot video picture camera. That's an Olympus, by the way. We get the same thing. There you go. It's an Olympus. Not a bad camera. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm no, not a bad video camera. A photography camera, mind you. I'm not. I'm not a photography major. You know, so I mean, photography really doesn't matter to me. Um, Okay, that's more of my sister's thing. She's She is a photography major in college. So what about me? Whoop. Nah, I'm all, I'm all about say hello, Tony. I'm Tony Montana. Anyway. Me, on the other hand, I'm actually a film, ma a film major. I'm a film major, right, Frank? Cool. Fucking skull, man. I'm, I've been trying to fucking find a reason to stick it in a film, and I think I finally have one. Um, I want to do Edgar Allan Poe's, not the fucking Raven, the Telltale Heart. Oops. Go off. That's Olympus for you. Ooh, shit, what's this doing on the floor? James Bond. James Bond. Never say never again with Sean Connery. Oh, I kind of got inspired. Like, since I, um, I know I promised you guys that if I, uh, Sims 2. I know I promised, I told you guys I was going to upload some gameplay footage, but you really can't see that. Oh, yes you can. My Emerson TV only actually has a VHS player. I don't have all the equipment to, um, to, um, you know, to do that. Uh, gameplay recordings and stick it on the computer. I don't, I don't have all that equipment. <sighs> so I think what I'm going to do is, um, is instead do a video review. Uh, not now, obviously, because I'm not quite prepared to make one. I got, I got, a, I got a few things I want to do. Like in order to do that, I would have to the you know, um, if you want to know my, my biased personal preference, I really love the game, but, so anyway, it's been pretty interesting, um, had a pretty full day today, had a, had my 7.30 English class, um, and then, like, right after that, I had to do a shoot, just basically filming around the campus. Um, I, I didn't want to keep it just on campus, I actually just wanted to, um, well, there, there was, like, a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to do. Like, and number one was work on that speech that I had to give today. Overall, I think I did pretty good. A couple of ums and, uh, and, like, Brain, like my brain kind of blanked out at, well, at one point. Uh, like, like I'll tell you right now, you're just seeing the edited version of this video. You're not gonna see me. Um, uh, mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't see that stuff. I don't put that up there. It really was a mess. So I, I'm definitely gonna do my best to. Um, it, it, see, I just fucking said um. Anyway. 
very, 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 very interesting. How I, uh, how I went from like the shittiest speech in America to actually not a half bad one. And professor, my, my uh, public speaking professor is going to use the better of the two takes because he gives us one practice round and the final uh, version and he always does the better one. Uh, and he always grades the better one so I, I thank him for that. It's really, it's really great of him. Now I have to do a commemorative speech. Commemorative either celebrates or praises somebody. And I already know who I'm doing. Encourages us to choose someone famous or historical, which I'm choosing famous. Tim Burton movies are fantastic. Those of you who don't know anything about Tim Burton, he kind of combines like dark gothic themes with like Dr. Seuss and he pulls it off fantastically. Um, if you ever watch Vincent, fantastic piece. Um, I really, I really honor him for that piece very well done and um you know the nightmare before christmas i'm sure some of you would recognize sleepy hollow uh with johnny depp and um and miranda richardson great movie especially miranda richardson i would say i mean johnny depp's performance was excellent in that movie but miranda richardson at the, especially at the very end she really steals the show from him um you would also probably recognize him from recognize Tim Burton's uh, Beetlejuice, Corpse Bride, um, or more recently he did uh, Alice in Wonderland. I think that was like 2009 or 10. I forget what that was. That one was actually not bad. It, it definitely it was definitely kind of a jump away from his usual work because he normally does like those dark, gloomy movies. You would also probably recognize him, recognize uh, Batman and Batman Returns. Uh, he directed those and also produ produced. Um, what was it? Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. So, I mean, I absolutely love his work. So, I've, I'm definitely thinking he's going to be my choice. And especially since I actually, um, I actually did a. I wanted to do my informative speech on Tim Burton, but since, but because of the topic, I couldn't. So, give everybody Tim Burton as as advertised. I really love that guy. He, it would not be difficult at all for me to kind of rant and rave about how great I think he is. Um, the the one guy in my. Uh, public speaking class. I'm not going to use his name, but he said he was going to do George Washington, the first president of the United States, mostly f because he's like he's in the army. Man, that guy's full of shit, though. Like the whole class sees right through him. You know, he's like, yeah, I'm, I get when I get deployed, it's usually to fucking kill someone. I get I'm a, he, I'm a fucking army sniper and shit like that. It's like yeah. Maybe there's a reason they frickin' send you like 50 kilometers away. Nobody wants you around. Eh, you know, he's the kind of guy, like, no matter what you're talking about, he knows, um, he's an expert on that subject. Like, his informative speech was on how to, like, was on, like, self-defense. I forget what kind of martial arts he, he demonstrated. But basically the main message was break your attacker's grip and run like a pussy and get help. That's not self-defense. That's quite the opposite actually. That's just, ugh. That, that was just worth, it was worthless. I, f I forget what he said. It, was, it, it wasn't like the typical ones like Kung Fu or um, or uh, Karate or Jiu Jitsu. It wasn't, it wasn't none of those. It was something like Mon Kai or something like that. I forget what the hell he said he was doing, but he's an idiot. Everyone saw right through him. You know, but it's it's like I said, the one day is like 
the, you know, he stepped up to like go to the bathroom or have a cigarette or something like that. And I said, you know what, guys, that dude is a freaking turd. Best thing to do, just let him stink himself out. <laughs> that that's that's seriously the best way to go about people who are just like so full of shit, you know, like the ones who have to give their input on everything. Just just let them go. They're they're not worth your breath. So save your so save it.